This one's for the bad guy. I just spilled uh, tequila all over my uh, lap. No shit. Scott Hall tell you, tell you, knocking the drink out of my hand. He's like, hey, Mo, you know? It's not Carlito, bro. <laughs> <laughs> knocking shit out. I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. Yo, you don't need the tequila, man. Mm-hmm. I, I don't need that. Oh, man, I could probably suck it up with a straw. Yeah. Like no, shot go, no shot goes to waste, right? <laughs> it's my uh, role. Welcome to the SF Company. <laughs> 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 this is the SF Company. <laughs> hour. Uh, cleaning up the tequila. Uh, Two second roll, five it. second roll. Snort <laughs> <laughs> it like cocaine, just so I can get a straw. And mainline it. Uh, welcome. This is number uh, 119. Uh, the SF Company Hour, uh, joined uh, by the maximum effort, Grayson. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing good, bro. Fucking just fresh home from driving. So, yeah, I'm amped up. Fuck those people. Can't drive for shit. For shit. If you're in the far left lane and people are turning and you know this, don't try to sneak in because this guy's not letting you in. You, you've heard, well, you've heard me, right? It's like, I called you, I didn't call you for this shit. That's pretty yeah, no, much what I hear. Like, you want to have anxiety and tension, just uh, talk to Rick on the phone. Or, even worse, be in the car, Rick, <laughs> at the same time. What are you, what are you talking about? It's like, people, it's like an episode of Speed Racer when I'm going. Yeah, yeah, I've had people in the car like, is he okay? Is he, uh... <laughs> like, no, he's not. <laughs> No, no, no. He's fine. He's just like this all the time. He's just like this. <laughs> he just mm. doesn't like anybody. <laughs> you know, instead of dyslexia, no, he's just like this. That's my shit. He cuts just like his itis. Well, my fucking laptop spells like uh, more so than usual. Uh, <laughs> so we got a couple of things to talk about. We got a lot of trailers to talk about today. Um, a lot of trailers dropped in the last week and a half. Uh, if you um, want to go back and watch our ba- the Batman review, I thought it was a great review. Like five people watched it, but still, it's a you know it's a, it was a great review. If you I know. It. Well, yeah, I think I we know, were a little late to the party. Uh, no, I, well, a lot of people haven't seen it yet, so a lot of people. I can't believe they haven't seen it. Shit, man. Uh, so yeah, people, uh, yeah, go watch the review. I saw it, I saw it again, so yeah, I liked it a lot better the second time. I'm telling you, the more I stew on it, like, and and you said it, I agree with you. You know, uh, it's. Fucking, I love it. You get so much Batman. You get a lot oh. of Batman. It's like when you get a lot of Godzilla. You're happy. Yeah, I just want Godzilla. I don't need yeah. fucking, uh, fucking or human problems. I want Godzilla problems. Exactly. Yeah. I don't need fucking Bruce Wayne issues. I need Batman. <laughs> More Batman in my life. Yeah, go check Go check it out. Uh, all right. Don't listen to that, DC Comics. <laughs> They've given us enough already. Yeah, I know. You want Batman? Don't worry. You can get a lot. No, I'll give you Batman. It's like, all right, easy, all McMahon. All the Batmans. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna uh, we got some trailers. Talk. We'll talk about the passing of uh, William Hurt and uh, the passing of uh, the great Scott Hall. Uh, we talk about re- uh, wrestling him every so often, but uh, yeah, Scott Hall was like uh, he's a definitely a hero of mine and uh, definitely uh, I believe a hero of Rick's. Yeah, you know. So yeah, let's jump into let's jump into Scott Hall, man. Let's talk about the, the great uh, Scott Hall, aka Razor Ramon, um, the di- aka the Diamond Stud. <laughs> you know, I, I I love that one, man. It was Diamond a WWE stud. Day. What what, uh, what promotion was that? The, um... WCW days. Yes. Diamond stud. Yes, that's that's what, that's Razor Ramon, dude. You know, as a matter of fact, I I just heard them talking about this. You know, people ladder matches right now. If they're gonna do like a, a TLC match, it should be the Scott like like the Scott Hall classic or something like yeah. those matches are named after Scott Hall. Yeah, cuz he yeah, they weren't the first ones to do a ladder match, but they they're the ones that like basically make it pioneered it. Pioneered it, mainstreamed it. Yeah, those matches with uh with Shawn Michaels are amazing. Um he uh the matches with um he had with a 1 2 3 kid in the WWF uh was amazing. Just a, a great guy. I got uh, actually got to meet him. Uh, in Nashville at this small little wrestling promotion. So 
super nice guy. Uh, you know, he was a legend. Uh, uh, started, you know, got big in the WWF. Uh, he went to Vince's office and uh, they're trying to figure out a character for him. So basically he did a, a Al Pacino impression, uh, his little Cuban, fake Cuban accent. And Vince loved it because he's never seen Scarface. <laughs> so he's like, oh, cool. Now, I love it. I love your shit. shit. I, I love it. Go, go with it. Uh, so he, uh, yeah, he uh, became Marezo Ramo. Uh, just, I remember watching those vignettes and shit when he was like walking around town and like just fucking like. Uh, bullying people and talking shit and uh just one of the one of the great talkers or one of the great promos and uh great in ring man the guy couldn't go in ring too man and he, he didn't mind putting people over uh he you know he knew how to sell uh he made the jump over to wcw and uh formed uh, you know basically changed wrestling uh you know forever really uh, uh starting uh the nwo with uh kevin nash his best friend kevin nash um and uh, the the immortal Hulk Hogan, uh, so yeah, that that revolutionized wrestling. I, I remember that was like NWO, and uh, these guys were like on the talk of everyone, everyone our age or higher or below, or just everyone was watching. It. Yeah, people forget how big wrestling was in the the nineties, how big it got. Uh, you know, just compared to what uh, people watch today, like uh, millions upon millions. You know, probably 10, 10 20 times what uh, people are watching now. They're still trying to replicate the numbers of the Monday Night Wars. Yeah, and it. Won't happen again. No, 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 not not even close. So this guy was a big, big, big part of it. Um, he just a, just a great. I, I'm just thinking of some. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. What do you think? What are your thoughts, man? Just, just, I mean, just the car- the career the guy had. Uh, you know, uh, I don't I don't remember him really being an indie. I think he. I, I want to say he was trained, or one of the help people that helped train him was DDP, uh, and. You know, DDP didn't want to be a manager, and he propped this guy out there. That's that's the first time he came out as the Diamond Stud. That's what that's why he had the Diamond gimmick because it was a you know because of Diamond Dallas Page. And you should hear how when he talks about Dallas, he he you know it's when you get that nickname for your boy like oh yeah me me and Dally. I was like man, you know they hung out for a long time, and Scott Hall was one of those people that when you finally you know start looking at wrestling, you can see that there's friendships in the back. I mean, that's why him and Sean had fucking an amazing match. They're friends. You know, how, how many times, you know, they probably practice together and they know each other's timing. Because uh, it really is a dance when it comes to wrestling, you know. It's it's the li- larger than life personas that go along with it. Uh, that's what I like about it. It's like, you know, it's like comic book come to life. It's Except they don't have really, some of them don't have superpowers, Hulk Hogan, John Cena. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, other 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 people are just like characters. You know, he had, like you said, the uh, the Al Pacino, Scarface uh, type character, and he and he did a really good impression of him. Uh, I was I was I'm happy that he was able to parlay that into uh, into a character that actually succeeded. And like the whole term that he came out with the bad guy, that's the thing that stuck out. Like he hung on to that because even after he dropped the. He did drop the whole like fake Cuban accent and just started talking like like Scott Hall, which was great. Yeah, well, his regular voice is his regular voice. It's just, it's pretty much it without you know the Scarface kind of thing. The stereotypical. But, he's still, but he still hits you with the hey yo, you know that was like one of the pro, those promo things that he had. Pop me every time, man. Anytime, yeah. I don't care where it was at or what fucking exactly. Uh, it, you know, it's everyone knew it was coming and everybody popped for it hard because it was fucking just perfect. It was, uh, it, in, I could cut a fucking promo, man. It, it's funny that those four guys are the ones that caused, or, or five guys. I don't want to shortchange uh, X Pac, uh, Sean Waltman, but those those five guys they caught lightning in a bottle, some at, at a perfect time in wrestling. The split happened, and they let Kayfabe break a little bit, you know, with you know Nash and Hall coming over as the outsiders to WCW and fucking just laying waste. I still say I lost all respect for Rey Mysterio Jr. when I saw him get lawn darted by <laughs> Kevin Nash. I, I I used to like him, and then after that, I was just like, "Yeah, you're not the same dude, man." You're not, you're not realistic as a person that could beat up. Uh, never, <laughs> yeah, I can never ever see that shit. I'm like, I, I I'm just expecting like Nash to pick him up, like get the fuck out of my ring, and just throw, <laughs> just throw him right out. But, yeah, yeah. He had so yeah, great matches. Uh, I, you know, I love the, the match. Uh, probably one of his last great matches was the match uh, at uh, WrestleMania with Stone Cold, and uh, he sold the fucking stunner like nobody's fucking business. Yeah, right? well, he was one of the few. I mean, I'd say he was in top three, definitely. Jim Rock and uh, who's the other one that could sell the shit out of the stunner? Uh, the Rock, no, the Rock. You know who actually does sell the stunner pretty good is Vince. 
Vince Vince really sells a good story. He doesn't really sell it. He just acts like he's murdered. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. it's it's part of the sell, and it's not over. It's not like fucking like Shawn Michaels overselling. You know, last ten years again, Vince Vince was like, kind of, he just kind of flopped it. Uh, but no, but he, when he got stunned by uh, uh, when he stunned uh, Scott Hall, man, he fucking flew up. That was great. And he, yeah, he just didn't want. He wasn't one of those guys that cared about like you know, you know, winning titles and shit. He just wanted. He wanted to have to tell fun stories. He wanted to, you know put put guys over. He wanted you know he was he, he was a rare guy. You know, um, yeah. Man, what, what would you say? Uh, what would you say are your top three favorite uh, Razor Remote matches? Uh. Trying to remember where he had the ladder, ladder, ladder match gotta be up there. Yeah, ladder match is probably number one, but that's right. He one. he had he had a fucking really good match with fucking Bret Hart. I'm just trying to remember if it was at Royal Rumble or WrestleMania. I don't think it was WrestleMania. So oh, it, yeah. it's one of the other two. It's one of the other big pay per views uh, before, and then he was part of like. I still go back to this. He, the the fact that he was part of that match with the fucking death of the horseman in fucking at, at, at war games, mm-hmm. that that was brutal. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, they they had a match at the Royal Rumble '93. Yeah, that might have been it. And yeah, and then he had another one with fucking Shawn Michaels, dude. Him and Shawn Michaels, they they had two great matches. It was yeah. the, it was a ladder match, and then I think it was uh shit. Was it two? La- it was two ladder matches. Yeah, two. Yeah, because I remember. Uh, uh, the, were, it was the revenge match. No, well, there was. He was scheduled to have another match. He's like, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to do a, a ladder match. A Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels. They changed. Uh, he was. He was in another feud, God, but yeah. 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 So, uh, the, the first that first one was sick though. With the battling, for the, they both had the belt, uh, and they had the two belts hanging up on, and that, just that image of him on the top of the ladder with the two belts. Fucking sick, dude. Yeah. yeah. The guy, the guy was awesome, man. Hell of a fucking wrestler. And this is this is like honestly, this is the main reason I like having uh, like the network, WWE Network, is so I can watch those old school matches because they have the WCW ones. They they have. This is the, I'm gonna look back on a, a lot of these guys, man. They had some fucking awesome matches and they revolutionized the business. Like honestly, like. You the thing about having a match is you always want to top it. It's the next match that you know you have to fucking you, you gotta go over. Or if you're if 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 that match becomes the standard, if it's two other people having to go at it, they have that match in the back of their mind, you know, the whole time they're competing. Like shit, we gotta fucking throw up a match as good as this one. And Scott Hall has a couple of those matches. Uh, uh, that, it's the benchmark of those yeah. matches. I, I yeah I, I would put that Stone Cold match man I like I love that Stone Cold match that was that was a good match uh yeah what, what would you prefer what would you prefer Scott Hall in uh in WCW or the uh, bad guy Razor Ramon uh, the wrestler that he was in WWE was a hell of a lot better than his second run of Scott Hall he, he was good I mean don't get me wrong he was good third banana it, in that, in it, that he, yeah well the thing is when him and when him and Nash were coming out, he was a talker. Nash was just a guy grabbing people and fucking them up, you know. Yeah. And not, not saying that he wouldn't, you know, participate. He would, but do uh, you know how it is when it comes to a tag team? You already know who the powerhouse is in the two. Yeah. And he 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 was the mic guy. Was fuck guy was awesome on the mic, dude. He's one of the best fucking promo guys out there. Yeah, I, I would I, I would I would lean towards Razor just because he had some great singles matches he was intercontinental champion a few times uh yeah i think i would prefer that but i just overall he's just a great fucking wrestler man definitely one of the greats yeah definitely so, so r.i.p to mr uh, scott hall Razor uh he, he's fucking yeah what a, a, legend, a fucking legend man uh all right let's so uh, another legend we lost this week um william hurt uh, Mr. Thunderbolt Ross himself uh, passed away uh, a few days ago. Uh, so, yeah, William Hurt, just like a crazy life, you know, just a crazy uh, run of movies. And, like, uh, he'd gone through the uh, IMDb, of course. Uh, he, you know, was it Broadcast News? Uh, I think he won an Oscar for that one. Uh, he just and he, he just look at goddamn just come to go through his, uh, his and he was very kind of a quiet actor like he didn't like uh, when he needed to you know he was there but then he could like kind of let the others a- actors act in the scene uh, he was a very he was good like that man he had body heat eyewitness mm-hmm. big chill 
uh, fucking Kisses of Spider Woman. Um, yeah, this guy just and that's just like the first, that's just the 80s, you know. So, I, I love I love you to death. That's the one Laurie Laurie knows. I fucking love it too. He was one of the two brothers with Keanu Reeves, the one with uh, the Tracy Ullman movie with Kevin Klein. I don't remember him in Dark City. You never seen Dark City, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't, don't troll me. Uh, Lost in Space, he was the. Uh, um, he was uh, uh, um, uh, Mr. Robinson. In, uh, yeah, he was cool, dude. He was one of the. He was one of the good things about that movie. I never like anytime he showed up, he never had like a bad role or never. Yeah, he never like phoned it in. He's he was always pretty. Good. He's a professional. Yeah, like he was really good at Thunderbolt Ross, man. I yeah, like I Thunderbolt. Say, like, his, uh, uh, you know, he, he a lot of people probably know him. Like, well, now, now, uh, days for his uh, Thunderbolt Ross. Uh, I'm kind of bummed that we don't get to see him kind of uh, turn into the Red Hulk and kind of uh, uh, see what the next phase of that character. That, Bring uh, back Sam Elliott. Well, Sam Elliott's up there too, man. I don't know. You're on the risk of fucking <laughs> two fucking Thunderbolt Ross. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, I think. Like I don't know if they're going to recast. I think they should. Uh, they they should. Oh, yeah. That character is very crucial in what the plans they have uh, coming up. Uh, and I, I, you know, it's it's just one of those things. Like, yeah, Thunderball Ross is, is, is a big character, but I think you can easily uh, switch him out. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know who would you do that with, but uh, yeah, man, your, your thoughts on uh, Mr. Hurt? Yeah, this one, he's. I just remember him in so many things, man. Uh, like. He's just good. This guy's a professional. Mm -hmm. You know, he gives you, like, I, w I really wish you would watch, like, Dark City. He's one of the best things about that movie is him and Kiefer Sutherland. They turn in fucking great performances because uh, they actually flesh out their kind of characters. He's like an old school detective, uh, uh, noir detective, uh, who's totally in the dark about everything and shit. And, you know, when everything starts coming up to light, he's... It, it's just trip to just seem like fucking go like all right i know what we gotta do you know he, he he's he's awesome uh broadcast news he was great he was great in broadcast news. i haven't watched that in a long time i need to rewatch that I seen yeah that. that's that was my old school i think they they played the shit out of that when a when i first got cable and amc started so uh a gorky park that's the one where I, I remember him because, you know, growing up as a kid, you see that Gorky Park fucking thing. I was just like, oh, William Hurt. I was so scared of the fucking trailer because it's like a murder trailer happening in, like, Russia. But it's a fucking sick-ass movie. I got to see it later on when, uh, as I got older. But, yeah, Gorky Park is fucking good. I think that was from the 84, 85. Uh, yeah. I mean, he, he had a great run in the mid-80s, dude. 83. Yeah, 83. Yeah, 83, Gorky Park, the big channel. Huh? Children of a Lesser God. That's a funny Children movie. of a Lesser God. Yeah. It's a cold one. Uh, yeah, I mean, man. he's done he's done some other stuff where he's just like it's, you can tell that it's not his movie. Like you know, like he's done Tuck Everlasting, and he was like a you know supporting actor in that. He was in Michael. I think he was like wasn't he like one of the doctors that was like uh, yeah yeah um weird movie uh, yeah Accidental <laughs> Tourist. I never I, I I just remember it as being a trivia answer. I don't think I've ever seen that one. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah he's, he had uh, he has like three movies uh, uh, still to come out a TV series that, we, that he was filming at the time of his death. So he's got some work coming out. Yeah, so you know it's, it wasn't you know it wasn't a spring chicken, but it wasn't like super old either. So uh, you know it's uh, can I bring that up? Uh, how old was he? Seventy one, I believe. Oh, geez, yeah, that's 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 young. That seems a little young. Yeah, seventy-one. We get a cause of death on him. Oh, I do. Oh, he died of natural causes. That, but who that's dies? Pretty, it's, it's, well, it depends. On, uh, it depends on what the natural causes are. Well, it says okay. He, uh, the cause was complications of prostate cancer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I don't know if that's natural. I guess well, nature's a bitch. So. Well, it's not. Com well, complications or, or something different. That's not natural. It just so happened that you know this is what he had. But I don't. I wouldn't say that's natural causes. Complications from prostate cancer. I think is something. You know, he, it's stopping him. If he didn't have that, he'd fucking make it to like maybe nineties. I don't know. Yeah, that shit sucks, man. Yeah, yeah. We just lost somebody uh, close to us uh, to that, and it's not a fun uh, thing to go through. Um, so yeah, R.P. Uh, William Hurt, man. That's uh, another one down, man. That's a, it's a it's a big that's a big one, man, right there. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's Scott Hall, man. That's Scott Hall hit me a little a little close to home, man. That, well, the fact that uh, I was just happy that his whole family was there 
but to make that decision together and yeah, uh, that, that would that sucked. Yeah, it sucks being yeah having to make that call. Uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, I'm glad he got to sober up too because he was known as a big drunk, uh, Scott Hall. Uh, they even throw that. That's how fucking shitty WCW was towards the end. They put that as a gimmick and as a his character. <laughs> they made him a drunk coming to the ring, and it was kind of a joke and kind of embarrassing. So bad for the guy. Uh, but I, I'm glad he got his shit together and he got to put it, get put in the Hall of Fame. Even though the Hall of Fame doesn't really mean shit, but D- DDP was the guy that fucking helped him through all of a lot of that. Yeah, he helped. He's, he's, helped, he's a guru, man. He's helping a lot of guys, man. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, R.I.P. Man, Scott Hall and uh, William Hurt. Two different spectrum uh, sides of the entertainment spectrum, but still legends in their own right. Uh, speaking of legends, Krista, nerds, nerds, hi, nerds. nerds. What's up, Krista? Or evening, gents. Without looking, name the five groups involved in the Pentavidate. Well, I remember it's the Gittis, the uh-huh. first, the, the Rothschilds, and Colonel Sanders. Who are the first two? The Queen. And what's one of Queen the Rothschild, the Gettys, the Rothschilds, the Vatican, Vatican. the Vatican, <laughs> uh, big Leo for one five. Hey, yo, RP Chico. Uh, go check out the gold dirty bastards. I don't know if they're, uh, I spent the week trying to put them back together. I, they, they were broken. I, you know, hopefully, uh, they, they're back together. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! Was it the breaking with 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 Womack? Because you know, it's Womack has this broken relationship already. Uh, well, Womack's broken. Everyone's broken. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on over, guys! It's a fucking it's a out here. There's a lot of signing trades going on in the NFL. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh. who's that? Big Leo? They're gonna, no, trade, no. They're gonna trade Womack for. Hey, a we need. Hey, we need a Schefter, man. We need a Shefty. Breaking uh, news. <laughs> hello, Harlan and Marlin were cousins. Mm. That's their names. I can't believe they're cousins with those names, though. You would expect them to be like brothers. Right. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember that. What, that, what movie that's, was that? That's the one where Tracy Ullman fucking kills uh, Kevin Klein because he's a womanizer, and he owns the pizzeria. Fucking like hits him over the head with a frying pan, and then she, then she hires fucking <laughs> she hires William Hurt and fucking Keanu Reeves to fucking go kill him. And I, I can't, familiar, I think oh, I, dude, it's fucking hilarious, bro. Yeah, no. Fucking even, even I think Kevin Klein. No, it's not Kevin Klein's mom that's in on it. I think it's Tracy Ullman's mom that's in on it too. Everybody's they're trying to kill the shit out of this guy, Joey, and he's always talking like this. Yeah, Kevin Klein. I do not understand why Rosalie wants to hit me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do remember that. Yeah, I, I fucking vaguely remember that shit. Oh, it's fucking great, dude. Uh, you know, what, you know, you know what, Rick? You know what you need to do? Wow. We need to figure some stuff out, man. Mm. Ah, we're gonna figure it out with Great New Zilla. Uh, so this week we saw just uh, just one thing I want to show off. We got uh, uh, oh wow, doing their uh Godzilla Ultimate figures. Uh, they had some reaction uh, uh figures they were coming out with uh, based off the old Shogun stuff. Uh, but they did uh. We did know they're going to plan to uh, do some regular, uh, um, what uh, six, seven inch scale figures, uh, kind of taking over what NECA was doing with their license. So this is the first offering in that scale, uh, Godzilla versus Biollante. Uh, so yeah, the, this is pretty cool. They look pretty cool. Uh, I have Godzilla from this era, so I probably won't get this, but the Biollante looks pretty damn cool. I might get it. I'll see. Uh, looks so bad. Looks cool. Uh, you know, it looks like fucking. Uh, uh, fucking Audrey 2, like fucking on steroids. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is all the stuff it comes with. It comes with different heads and uh, you can switch out. Uh, a, a very underrated Godzilla movie. I was talking to uh, Diego, uh, one of a uh, uh, comic shop friends, uh, about that. He, he's a big uh, Godzilla vs. Biollante fan. Uh, so, yeah, I'm sure he's, uh, I think he was happy when he saw this uh, this figure. Godzilla comes with the, yeah, yeah he comes with, the, if you see the movie, spoilers for the movie, uh, at one point he gets his hand. Uh, <laughs> pop through his hand gets fucking cut open and uh, one of the branches goes through his hand and the uh the plant wraps around his neck uh so, yeah so you can recreate that scene uh from uh from the movie uh very very cool godzilla movie of uh, godzilla versus Violante. it's a, it's a weird it's fucking godzilla versus like a uh a, a resurrected plant uh the guy tries to like 
he uses his daughter's DNA mixed with Godzilla DNA, creates this like <laughs> fucking uh, it, it, It's a fucking batshit crazy Godzilla movie, but it's awesome at the same time. Uh, the, the more crazier the plot is, or uh, the situation is in the Godzilla movie, the better it is. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this originally came out in 1989. Uh, it's, it's hard to find on Blu-ray. Uh, that's one of the things I was talking to Diego about. I actually I bought it when it came out on Blu-ray. Uh, I think I have this on VHS too. So. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely, uh, uh, definitely a, a fun-looking figure. Uh, probably gonna get it, and we'll see what happens. I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, if I maybe I'll wait to see it in person. Uh, but uh, yeah, what do you think, man? Oh, that looks sick, dude. Okay, yeah. it looks like uh, it looks like a cross between Audrey Two and fucking uh, Rosalia from my Pokemon game and shit. <laughs> you know, it, it looks it looks dope. It got a little fucking uh, angry fucking pincers and shit on the vines. But, dude, the fucking Godzilla with the fucking hand, like, I was like, that looks dope. That's like fucking the crow and shit. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't know. I might, I might get this just, uh, yeah. But I, I love like, the two, I love the two head sculpts. I got, I love that they got the smiling one with the fangs. Yeah. Little yeah. Kid. yeah. God damn it. You might be talking to me too. Little angry, little, uh, little angry kitty. Look at him. <laughs> <Hey, dude. laughs> uh, um, yeah, I might pick this up. I, I, I'm curious to see what other uh, figures like NECA was pretty good at, you know, what the stuff they released. But I wouldn't like seeing them do. Um, uh, I want to see a better 1985 one. I don't like their 85 uh, Godzilla rep, uh, interpretation. So hopefully they do a, a new one on that one. So. 1980 Godzilla 1985. Yeah. Or Return of Godzilla. Uh, I like I like that movie. I like that movie a lot. That's one of my. That's in my top five favorite Godzilla movies. Especially when the fucking what, what was the what was the ship called? Super X. Huh? Super, Super X. Super X. The, yeah. the music that they played for Super X as it came out was dope. Mario March and shit. Uh, the, have you seen the Japanese version? Yes. Yeah, that version is so. Sp- I think. Do we see that at Godzilla? Uh, the Godzilla. No, 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 no. You showed me that close. To, uh, a while back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I watch. I watch that there with you. I do. I do have a soft spot for the the American uh, uh, kind of reedit. It's because we've seen it in the theater here. That's the whole thing. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. I mean, yeah. I remember watching that at the yeah. The mission. Where they added Raymond Burr just like the original Godzilla. It kind of it cuts out a lot of stuff, but to, to placate, like make it it's yeah, shorter. It's, a, it's a different. It's a different. I, I think it's a different movie. It feels like a different movie for sure. A little goof, a goofier, but uh, I think uh, I like the. Um, I like the Japanese cut a lot better, a lot better. I agree. Uh, Lori, uh, Godzilla versus Biontech was not based on a true story. Uh, just look cool. <laughs> <laughs> they keep talking about Harlan and Marlon were cousins, but no, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, uh, you could see uh, Godzilla versus Biontech oh. could be like a true story. It's a cat oh. and a fucking plant fighting. Well, when I was a kid, I, I assumed it was all documentaries and all these things. <laughs> Dude, just imagine when an alien race sees that shit. They're like, this is why we don't come down. You know, fucking, they all look like Godzilla and we're, we got fucking killer plants on the fucking. Uh, Krista, uh, frying pan is a great weapon. Weapon. Uh, don't better worry about that. <laughs> Speaking okay. of experience, uh, Lori, I love you to death. Uh, had a crazy cast, uh, an all, all time favorite for sure. Reggie, Reggie. Yeah, that's a, it's a, it's a good movie, dude. It's a, it's a fucking funny movie. If you if you like if you're a fan of Tracy Ullman, you'll fucking dig that movie. I love I love Tracy Ullman. I love Kevin Klein. Mm-hmm. So it's just to see William Hurt and well, it's not a stress for Keanu Reeves to fucking play like LSD out hippies and shit. You know, uh, back in the day, you know, in the eighties, you know, mm-hmm. Keanu Reeves Keanu Reeves is an amazing human being. I, feel, I should be stricken, you know, by God for saying that shit. Sorry, Keanu, uh, but yeah. <laughs> Hey, he's a great dude, man. Guy gets up, you know, for people on the train. Doesn't have to do that shit. He's just a regular Joe. He's just a regular Joe, guys. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's jump into these trailers, man. We have a bunch of trailers to talk about. Uh, first, uh, actually, first before we do any of that, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe if you're watching the video. If you're new to the channel, uh, new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, and like the video, all that crap they ask you to do on the YouTubes. I tell your friends about. <laughs> I like you to tell your friends about us. Uh, so just uh, be aware. Yeah, you know, it's uh, 
share, like, subscribe, and go back and watch Batman. Go up back and watch that Batman review. One more people to watch it. It was a good fucking review. That's a great review, man. Yeah, it was a good review. Yeah, Hondo, we should, we Hondo kind of ruined it, but you know, it was great. Uh, Hondo, 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 Hondo had his takes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> It's not his fault. He's a skip. He's a skip Bayless of fucking uh, <laughs> comic book code, but yeah. <laughs> He's out of touch. He's out of touch. I can't wait. I can't wait till he watches this. <laughs> next time we go to karaoke, I'm gonna sing "Out of Touch" and I'm gonna fucking just point at fucking Honda. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you finished. Yeah. Finish your Honda rant. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love Hondo. Cool. See, you didn't need that Conan, right? Yeah, you had plenty of other stuff to write. Yeah, dude, I, I told you, this is what happens when I get all all riled up and shit right after uh, driving home, man. Uh, all right, so uh, let's go dive into these trailers, man. Let's just show a lot of trailers. I guess we'll start with the Pentaverit since we, uh, you know, guessed all the other ones. Uh, so this is coming from the mind of uh, Mike Myers. Uh, this is, um, uh, I guess, kind of. I, I wouldn't. I don't know if this is a spinoff of uh, Soy Merida Axmer, but he did talk about the, uh, the father character he played in the. Uh, so <laughs> he did talk about the Pentaverit, uh, basically like a group of people that are controlling the world. Uh, so we don't really see much. It's kind of a short trailer. We got to see us uh, get to see some of the characters he's playing. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna hold off judgment till I see a little bit more because uh, Mike Myers has done crap before, so. <laughs> I'm hoping this is good. This is kind of looks like he's just kind of unleashed and kind of uh, doing whatever the fuck he wants. Uh, but last time he, we he, they let him do that, we got the love guru, which was fucking horrible. Uh, so I this uh, I, I don't know. I don't really have a, a great opinion on this yet. I, I, I'm happy to see Mike Myers back, uh, and I'm happy to see you know him going batshit crazy. With, you know with him getting money and getting kind of doing whatever the fuck he wants. Uh, gonna be, uh, this is coming out on Netflix and when's this coming out? Was it May? Uh, May 5th. Yeah. It's going right around the corner. So. Cinco de Mayo. There you go. Uh, I mean, yeah, it looks like my, Mike Myers shooting scenery. That could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. We don't know. Uh, so, but what do you think, man? What do you think of this one? Oh, it's his fucking project. I mean, it's the other things he was, I don't know if Cat in a Hat was his, if he wanted to do that. The thing, uh, the guru was his idea as well, with yeah. the love guru, which was fucking really bad it's not like a bad like oh it's bad you can watch it's so it. bad it's good it's just no it's so bad it's bad i mean there's some funny parts in it but it ages bad <laughs> it's <sounds> okay <laughs> just, just just like other shit like some of the some of the austin powers stuff like one austin power movies i think aged very bad i think it might have been the first one um yeah, I can see the that. third, the third one's gold member still holds up it's hilarious i still i i i, I, got, I, I like the second one i think the second one's my favorite Spy who shagged me. Yeah. Oh yeah. The first one, it, it's. You know, I, like, I like Heather Graham a lot. Mm. Uh, Beyonce was kind of annoying as a uh, Foxy Queen. Foxy Patrick. Cleopatra. Just yeah, kinda... but fucking him as Gold Member is fucking great, dude. It's. Yeah, Gold. I love Gold. And and that's the thing. He's great at playing characters. I just don't want him to play bad characters like he did in The Love Guru. Yeah, it was just. Yeah, it was just not funny and just like it was trying it was trying too hard to be funny which made it really unfunny uh so uh, i think it's six episodes though so uh, it's cool to get in get out if it sucks it sucks it's not you know and it's on netflix so you don't have to pay for it or anything so well we pay for it but not not really um well i don't anyways uh <laughs> <laughs> this is uh yeah I, i'll watch it i'm, I'm I'll, I'll watch it I, I like i love like conspiracy theories and like fucking illuminati kind of shit like I don't believe in a lot of it. I like. I just. Like I just. It. It's entertain. That's the whole thing. Yeah. We see it as it, what it is. It's entertainment. Yeah, it's kind of fun to speculate and kind yeah. of these alternate. I don't believe in it. Do uh, believe in it is. Well, some shit is it, like it could be believable, but a lot of the shit is just like, come on, so there's no reptilians coming. Uh, or I might. Is that what a reptilian would say? Uh, so yeah, this looks cool. May fifth. I'll check. We'll check it out. We'll, we'll talk about it for sure when it comes out. Uh, I'm a, you know, I love Mike Myers, so he's he, he's he's one of my favorite uh, comedic actors. Uh, so I, I'm I'm I'm, cu I'm curious to see what uh, what this is gonna be. So we'll see. I was excited when I first heard about it, just because it does go back to that whole scene in in uh, and so I married an axe murderer. And I always like wonder, I'm like, fucking, so how, where did the fucking colonel meet the Gettys and the Rothschilds and the Vatican? Because the fucking colonel is a part of this fucking crew now. 
are these people going to be the Pentaveret or is it going to be like that was his dad, his crazy dad's version of the Pentaveret? The Pentaveret's real. It's just not those five. five, five I, I, if we don't see the colonel, uh, like he's still alive and he's fucking. <laughs> if he's like, he's so, like frozen in carbonite somewhere, yeah, I'm going to yeah, fucking sure. die laughing. I see Mike Myers as a colonel. Like imagine Mike Myers as a colonel. That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. That would be sick. I'm telling you that. We might see that one up. Him uh, interviewing the bear is like for me, like I'm gonna watch that shit just for that alone. So that's gonna be a meme around fucking SF Comic Book Co. right there. <laughs> all right, uh, let's uh, let's go to uh, let's talk about the boys, the boys, boys, uh, the boys. Uh, Red Band trailer for uh, season uh, season three. Season three. It's going by pretty quick, man. These uh, these uh, seasons on uh, the boys. Uh, this looks batshit crazy. This is look looking a lot more like what the comic book is. Uh, so this is a. Uh, there's a lot to unpack here. You're gonna you're gonna see. Uh, was it was it uh, Jason Eccles? Who, who's it? Jen, Jensen Eccles. Jensen Eccles. Yeah, he's playing like a, a fake Captain America type. Um, this looks uh, this looks fucking batshit crazy. I'm all for it, man. The the comic is uh, pretty uh, good to a point, uh, and the show's been really good, very entertaining. I love the cast. Uh, it looks like we're getting more of the batshit crazy, and it looks like they're getting more money to uh, fuck around with too. Uh, since the show is pretty popular, a lot of people are watching this show, so it's it's one of the, it's one of Amazon Prime's biggest shows. Uh, so there it looks like they're spending a lot more money, and there looks like they're gonna be able to do the shit they did in the comics uh, a little more. So yeah, I'm like I'm curious uh, to see where, where these characters go, man. I'm digging the show. I can't wait for this. I think this is June, uh, June third on Prime. Um, it's fucking funny. We're gonna have a lot of shows to watch. It's, uh, we have a lot of TV to keep us busy. Movies and TV are gonna be pretty lit in uh, in in uh, like May, June, July. It's gonna be pretty lit in the next uh, few months. You're gonna have a lot of shit to watch and to talk about. Sorry. What? What? what, what, what okay, what? no, because I'm looking at I'm looking at the cast for season uh, season three of The Boys, and see it just. This is a wrestling fan in me. I've been trying to figure out who the fuck Daniel Garcia looks like. He looks like the deep. He looks like the deep. He's like the deep's fucking like like fucking like. Yeah. Does that deserve a fucking fist? Fucking. I'm sorry. I'm just like it's just. I'm like this is who it was. I was just like yes, fuck yeah. It's just curiosity. You know, just. All right. Sorry. I just got super happy there for a second. So I was just like yeah. Fuck yeah, now I know who it is. All right. <laughs> I, I hate not having that fucking piece of information here. I, it just it just bothers me. So when people ask me a question or it, I'm asking myself the question and I don't have an answer. Yeah, it looks, it looks weird. There's like weird like musical numbers. There's fucking weird crazy fights going on. What's up with the musical numbers? I mean, they the Peacemaker does an opening like that. So now people want to... This isn't Buffy or Angel. Can we stop with the fucking musicals? Yeah. Please. We'll see, well, we'll see the contents before we uh, mm. throw, it under, uh, throw it under the bus. It's just, it's, it's, it's going to be a dream. I, I don't want it to become a trope. Mm. And, and, and a trope in TV in general. Like, yeah. Stop with the musical episode. Scrubs. Hello. That was really good. I love that episode. Yeah. That was as I, Dude, oh. I love musicals just as much as the next guy. I just don't want it to be a trope. Or not as much as the next guy. I love musicals, okay? That episode's fucking awesome, yeah. That, those songs are great. I, I still have nothing. Uh, we're going to play those after. Uh, so, yeah, boys, season three, ladies. Right? All right, let's talk about uh, to get taken down. Don't play that shit. <laughs> Everyone loves the poo. Uh, let's see, uh, Sonic. We got Sonic. I know Rick's juiced about this one. Uh, the second trailer came out this week, I believe. I love that they called it final trailer too. Final trailer. Yeah, final trailer. More of the plot, even though like the plot kind of writes itself. Yeah, Robotnik, uh, uh, Robotnik's back from that little mushroom world he went to and uh, discovered uh, uh, this new gem and stuff. So he's bringing Knuckles in. Of course, Knuckles is from the video game, and of course there, he's gonna do the switch. Uh, you know, he's gonna start off as a bad guy and then. Uh, you know, or you know, Robotnik has you know misled him or some shit, and then he's going to team up with Sonic at the end. So, kind of already know what the plot is coming out of it, but it looks fun. Uh, Sonic was definitely like a, 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 the best movie of 20, 2020, uh, even though because there's only like three movies that came out that year. 
Uh, but uh, this looks like a lot of fun. Uh, it looks like more of the same. Get the, some more of the uh, characters from uh, the car- uh, the game and the cartoon and stuff. So uh, this looks this look, could be a lot of fun. Could be uh, uh yeah. Looks like more of the same shit. Uh, got Carrie fucking chewing the scenery, which was great in the last one. Kind of Carrie just being Carrie, not really, you know, uh, just being old school kind of Jim Carrey, which is, I appreciate. You know, we got the series trying to be an actor, Jim Carrey, for a long time. This is just him going back to his uh, olden days. Hey, crazy. Uh, Carry, yeah, I like the I like James Marsden. I like you know I like the the chemistry between him and Sonic. You know, of course it's a cut, uh, cartoon, but still I think they had a fun little uh, banter, witty banter. I like Ben Schwartz. Uh, so this looks like a lot of a ton of fun. It looks like a, fu- a fun movie. It, look, it doesn't look like uh, yeah, uh, really nothing really critical to say about it. It's just a fun fucking looks like a fun time, which was the, just like the last one. Last one was just a fun movie. Did you get to see this trailer? I watched it earlier today, yeah. Okay, so the, the the one thing that really just made me fucking just mark out was when fucking dude's phone rang. Uh, oh, the you song? know, Donut, Donut Lord? Yeah, I can't remember his, the, uh, his name. Uh, James Marsden, but... Uh, John or something? Like, like a generic? Yeah, or something, you know, some common ass name. Uh, but yeah, I think it, it his phone started ringing the fucking Green Hills zone. Fucking... Dude, you know the, the the first level. I was like, oh fuck yeah, I'm right. I'm in. They include chaos emeralds. They, they, you know, it's knuckles, it's tails. I thought knuckles might have been a little bit too soon, but it it makes sense. You know, it's gonna be two on one fight, and then it's gonna be a three on one with knuckles being, you know, he's gonna turn. Yeah, he's gonna turn on real back. Then. Yeah, it. But I can't. I can't wait for this, dude. Because the thing is, that last Sonic movie was so much fucking fun it was it, it had heart it, yes. it, it, it it's been a while since movies have heart and i i really enjoy the shit out of that first one man yeah so that's why i'm like looking forward to it and yeah it's it's carrie being like jim carrey like old school i don't give a shit what anybody says i'm gonna just you know he's 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 a cartoon character he's a back to being a cartoon character yeah yeah, it looks good. It looks, uh, yeah, the effects like are lo- they look a lot more cartoony than the last movie, I guess, because you have more cartoony characters on screen. But it's uh, you know I'm not gonna you know I don't know, it's, it just uh, doesn't have to be photorealistic. You kind of know what the world you're in, uh, and so it's it's forgivable. I, I like it looks fun. Like it looks like you're playing the game. Like when you're sliding down the hill, like some of the recent ones. Uh, uh, yeah, it looks like yeah, it's. It's fun. I'm, I'm I'm ready for it. This comes out in a couple weeks too, or on the eighth or something like that. I think so. I'm I'm, I'm already gonna get my tickets. Yeah, I might have to work all week that week. I'm, I'll, I'll try to get out early that night. All right, just let me know oh, so I can get my re- I'm, ca- I'm calling in Sonic. Uh, nobody heard that, Lori. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, the the beauty of working uh, next to a uh, movie. It's for your other job, right? It's for your other job. We have <laughs> we have things to watch, right? My real my real job. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it looks fun. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, I'm in. I'm in. Uh, all right, and we got some uh, some Dis- uh, Disney Plus uh, shows jumping on. Uh, we got Ms. Marvel. Let's talk about Ms. Marvel first. Um, so we got a good look. Uh, we've had only like a little. The last trailer didn't really show too much. It's kind of uh, uh, kind of showing more what the plot is and more of her using her powers. Uh, are are those are those comic book panels and stuff? Is that going to be part of the show or is that just for the trailer? I'm. I'm thinking it's going to be part of the show, which I, I'm good with that. I fucking. I, 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 oh, I prefer that because I think that's awesome. Like that's a, yes. a, a, a take, uh, a cool take on it. Like uh, so, it's been done before. Like I Lee tried to do it in his Hulk movie, kind of like kind of. Oh, pan- yeah, from panel to panel. Like I liked. I actually like Doug. That I just think the movie has a lot of issues. Uh, you know. I didn't like that sign up. Hulk. What was that? Like the design of Hulk, yeah. yeah the Hulk has- design, he looked like Shrek, uh, and it was way too big. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it was definitely a bad design. But uh, some of that, there's some good stuff in there. But yeah, he, I think he was trying to do too much with a Hulk movie. Uh, I think he was trying to overdo a do a Hulk movie uh, when you really didn't have to. Uh, yeah, she looks cool. She looks like uh, she looks uh, cool in the role. Uh, the role. Uh, she looks. Uh, this. They've changed her powers in the power uh, in the comic. She has like Mister Fantastic uh, uh, Plastic yep. Man powers. So now she kind of has a, like a Green Lantern kind of uh, um, look to her powers. Uh, she's an Inhuman in the comics. So I don't know if they're going to go with that origin or maybe make make her mutant. Just kind of uh, cut all the Inhuman shit out. Uh, but this looks fun. It looks like fun. Uh, I, like I'm not super like oh I, I can't wait to see Ms. Marvel. But I'll watch it. It's a Disney Plus show, Marvel show. I'll definitely check it out. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun. 
Um, yeah, what'd you think, man? I, I like actually like the trailer, man. Uh, I just am not a fan <sighs> when they overuse a song and a weekend song. Uh, yeah, that shit, that's just that's just. I like it too, but it's just, dude, it's so, anytime now that I listen to it, it's just like, oh, here it is again. It's just like, yeah. come on. They could, they, give me a score. Give me her, give me her fucking. Or use her a song I've been song. using. Like, use another song. Like, somebody, like, there's so many songs, underused songs you can fucking use. <sighs> I'm just, uh, I, I don't like, I understand that th this is probably going to be the, the demographic they're going for, but it's just like, yeah, dude, it's don't, it's don't it's alienate it's the comic fan at the same, well, I don't think, actually don't think that there are many younger comic fans. Not as much as their yeah, older yeah. ones. She's very popular with a young with a young audience. This is definitely in play to a, a young. I haven't I haven't read too much of her. I, I hear her book is. Uh, I've always wanted to jump into her book and like kind of re uh, read from the beginning. But uh, I just I haven't. Uh, but it looks like a fun. Uh, uh, from what I've read of her and other like guest starring and others, she just seems like she's a fun. Guy. She's like us. She's a you know she's a fangirl. And she, yeah, that, that, that's and dude, fucking the, the pop up bubbles. I fucking love that shit. I, yeah, I, 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 I dig that kind of style and kind of makes it feel like a comic book. So I, I'm kind of digging that, like uh, that uh, that aesthetic. So if that's part of the show, I'm de I will definitely watch it just for like kind of the visuals. Just being nitpicky with the trailer and shit. I'm like I fucking hate I I, I hate overused music. That's yeah, just me. Yeah, I don't mind it. I'm nitpicky at this point. This yeah. is for me, people. I know people have told me, like, oh, well, it's not for you. I'm like, hey, you can, yeah, go fuck yourself. Uh, it looks fun. I, I think it uh, looks cool. And, uh, yeah, this is going to tie into uh, the Marvels next year, I believe. Next year, I believe. Oh, yeah. Everything's getting pushed around and shit, so you don't know what's coming out when. Uh, but this looks like a lot of fun. I think we're going to get uh, some looks of She-Hulk. Uh, I think we're going to get some uh, trailers of She-Hulk soon, too. Is this the next show coming out? Uh, yes. All right, when does this? Oh, June 8th. Yeah, yeah, June, June, 10, May, June is gonna be fucking lit. Yeah, um, yeah. So this is gonna, yeah, I think we're gonna get She Hulk maybe July, August, maybe. I would, I would assume. Yeah, that's gonna be the next one. Uh, they, they released a, some, uh, some uh, merchandising art. I, I think I dig in her look. Uh, I, you can't really tell it's on a fucking cup, but I, I'm kind of digging the look. So I can't wait to see what the, her she looks like in live action. So. All right. Yeah. Let's see, uh, Lori. Uh, have you seen "Our Flag Means Death" uh, pirate comedy on HBO? No, I'm not seen it. Not yet. Uh, is it a serious uh, movie or a serious show or comedy? I'm actually watching HBO right now, but I am watching Doctor Sleep. So you're, you're supposed to be focusing on the show. Right? I am focused on the show. I'm, I'm I'm engaged, but I like having something in the background. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't. I, can't. I don't like watching movies in the background. I like when I watch sit down and watch a movie. I like to watch a movie. Yeah, it's hard. I, I, Dude, I watch. That's why I watch movies so often. I know, I know. You just watch it once and, and focus. No. <laughs> oh, the Honda Lord. What's up, guys? Just dropping in now. Uh, we'll have to catch a replay later. But quick question: Isn't the Pentaverge mentioned in uh, in I Married a Sack Axe Murder? Also, R.I.P. to William Hurt and Scott Hall. Uh, uh, Honda, go watch the the, uh, the beginning. You'll hear all yeah, the. It, you know, that's the whole thing. Honda's like a late pop in bubble. You know, like fucking pop a video on VH1. Like you already talked about it. Then it comes back after the break, and it's like, hey, it's like, yeah, I, think I remember seeing that. It's like a recap on Raw, man. They <laughs> just fucking it's a recap on Raw. <laughs> That's why I don't watch it. Wednesday night Hondo. Uh, yeah, yeah, we we talked about that uh, earlier. Definitely watch, and uh, we didn't talk shit about you at all. Uh, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. <laughs> it's, it's, I think you're home angry. I'm sorry. Maybe don't watch uh, earlier Hondo. <laughs> He's gonna hate me, dude. He already hates me. No, Optim but see, I live up to the name. No, Optimus Hondo, Prime, Negatron. Hondo fucking loves you. He thinks you're a good brother. You're the one that has issues. With I have issues with everything. I'm sorry. I fucking turn into an angry ass Don Rickles at times and shit. Nothing pleases. <laughs> Emphasis on the Rick. <laughs> 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 it's very true. See, and yeah. th and, th and there were no. Well, there were a couple of. Trigger words. You did say Hondo a few times. So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, hey, let's, uh, let's jump into the big trailer that dropped this week. Uh, fucking awesome, man. Obi Wan Kenobi coming out on Disney Plus. Uh, that one is coming out in May. Uh, this uh, pretty much all you would want. This is had this trailer. You know, we have uh, hints of a. Uh, we could see him uh, kind of uh, spying on Luke, kind of keep an eye on him. 
Uh, we get to see Uncle Owen in this. Uh, we get to see some Inquisitors. Uh, if you watch the Rebels, uh, they're like, like basically they're Sith. They're not completely Sith, but they use lightsabers and they hunt down the remaining Jedi, Jedi that are left in the universe. And of course, Obi Wan Kenobi would definitely be one of the most wanted men in the uh, men in the universe, which which is pretty genius for Obi Wan to like go hide at the one place that fucking Vader would never want to go to his fucking uh, Tatooine, where you know his he, know, he knows him. Yeah, yeah he knows him. So it, you know, it's uh, you know, it, it, this looks cool. I, 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 Hugh McGregor is the right age, perfect time to do this. Like, do it now before it's too late or something happens. So I'm glad they're doing this. Uh, this looks like all I would want. I had being directed by Deborah Chow. Uh, I'm, I'm super. This is the one uh, I'm looking forward to. And uh, somebody made a good point about uh, I, don't know, I don't know if we did or somebody did. I'll think it was us. That this is like the first like real major Star Wars character to get a show. Like Boba, like um, Boba Fett is pretty uh, pretty popular. Uh, fucking, uh, but he's, he's not, not Obi Wan. He's not a main guy. And Mandalorian is just was just created. Uh, like, oh, this is Obi Wan, man. This is like, or you know, this is like having a Leia show, or uh, you know, a fucking Luke show, or whatever. So this is a, this is a big time. This is a big time one. So this is a major one. This is gonna be the, uh, the big, uh, this is gonna be the most. This is my most anticipated one for sure. Um, I, I'm I'm super juiced on this. Uh, we get to get to see the rematch. Uh, we get a little breathing of Vader at the end. So we get to see the rematch. We all wanted to see. Uh, uh, I'm 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 in, man. I'm fucking totally down with this, man. I'm super. I mean. I getting to see the whole Luke looking like, and you hear, you heard me when we when I talked to you about this. I was like, were there still pod races at the time? You know, he's like, maybe I don't know. Uh, we don't know if the Empire's outlawed it by that point. Yeah, they banned them, or you know, just they just they uh, banned a lot of shit on Tatooine because they don't want to be. You know, they don't want Tatooine to get that much uh, love anymore. But like Invader probably stops all trade from going to Tatooine because he hates it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, 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 we'll definitely get some deep cuts on like why, why the Tatooine and what what ha, what's going on in the universe during that time. I do like I do like that period of time. I'm, I'm glad we got a, we've gained a bunch of content because there, there's a lot of gaps to fill, and a lot of people are like, oh well, Obi Wan was on Tatooine. Like he's not going to stay on Tatooine the whole time. There's going to be oh. some where he's going to have to go off world and handle some business to protect Luke. It's all to protect Luke and Leia. So. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm juiced for this, man. I'm just, I can't wait for this. I want to. I like it. Uh, I want this now. Let's just I want it. this now. Yeah, give me this now. Give me. Give somebody have a bootleg. Send it to me right now. I watch it now. I don't want to wait. So See, you know, there, there was talk. This, this is one that you. I'm going to tell you that you're going to want to watch every fucking episode right off the bat. This is that series. You. I want to. Don't. And they're going to. It's Disney Plus. It's going to be that weekly yeah. shit. Oh but yeah. I want to see this shit. Like first first day, you better give me at least two to three episodes. Not gonna happen. You're gonna Not gonna happen. happen. No, it's what six episodes long, possibly. Yeah. And, and you know there was talk of an Obi Wan movie. This was supposed to be originally like a movie. Uh, I'm and glad it's a series. I'm so glad. I want series. I don't care about the movies anymore. Star Wars. Like you can have do a movie every once in a while, like to build up. But uh, I want to see series. This this is this is way better than a movie. You get a fucking six hour. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure these will be about an hour or so. Um, or maybe a little a tad under it, probably like 45 minutes to an hour. I would assume these are going to be. Uh, so I think, uh, I think we're gonna, uh, this is gonna be awesome, man. Uh, this is a world where we get to see Ewan McGregor play, uh, uh, Obi Wan again. We can see uh, Hayden Christensen come back as Vader. Uh, definitely want to see how they handle that. And uh, we get to see the rematch, man. I'm totally down, and he's gonna lose. Uh, Vader's gonna lose again, um, because he's still, he's still a learner. Uh, so this is gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be a fun fucking uh, uh, show. I can't wait for this. Yeah, uh, it's just a, a lot of good. This is fan service done right. People are gonna be like, "Oh, well, you need like, you guys need to get over it. It's not your Star Wars. It's our Star Wars." Yeah. You know? and, uh, yeah. I, I don't like being I don't like being a gatekeeper. But if you don't, if I'm not saying I know everything, but if you fucking don't know your shit, don't come talking to me about. Oh, well, you don't. You're not a real fan. Fuck you. I guarantee you, I, I paid attention to that, that movie more than you guys did. I want to meet these people that attack you and say, you're "Well, it's, it's, no, it's not. No, it's just well, people in general, it's just voices, original, like fictional, the, fictional characters, right?" These the, the Randy, you hear voices in your head like Randy Orton. His, <laughs> these people oh, are talking to me and telling me I'm wrong. Like, who are these people that tell you you're wrong? <laughs> the world's against me, right? <laughs> I want to meet these people one day. These fucking people that are all, all about hating on Rick. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, Kenobi, uh, Kenobi was awesome. The Duel of Fates music was hopefully placed in the trailer. 
I also love the lightsaber in uh in the one in Kenobi. Uh I love uh yeah, the Duel of the Fates is one of the best just not just uh music fucking uh, Star Wars music, it's just one of the best pieces of music in cinema. So it's like fucking O Fortuna for fucking Star Wars. It's fucking really good. One of the best things that's come out of episode one was definitely the fucking score. Uh, uh Duel of the Fates is amazing. Uh, any predictions who will show up in Kenobi? I have, I, have, I have a little bit of a cast list. Uh, I don't know who Ice Cube or O'Shea Jackson Jr. are going to play, but they're listed as part of possible cast list. Uh, then you got Kumail uh, Nanjiani is going to be in it. Fucking Sung really? Kang from, really? Final, from uh, what is it? Fast and the Furious. I thought uh, uh, you know, Johnny was playing a droid. Okay. We don't know. We yeah, well, I don't. I don't. We don't know the casting yet. I think that was a rumor. I'm not sure if that. Yeah, there's a, there's there's rumored for like six to seven actors on on the eight eight actors on this list. Yeah, and like people were talking about maybe uh, uh Darth Maul showing up at some point. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, we don't need, like uh, they had yeah. If you were spoilers for Rebels, they had a pretty good um uh interaction in Rebels. Uh, so I don't know if they. If they want to bring they, they could show them in another part they can't meet unfortunately because the way they set it up in rebels wouldn't that be more for ahsoka uh they do have an ahsoka series i think darth maul would probably be more inclined to go there wouldn't wouldn't it he? Works when it's set very true yeah because i think ahsoka is going to be set in the the mandalorian boba fett timeline mm -hmm. okay but you can do flashbacks uh, and so uh yeah we got uh rupert Fa our friend is a inquisitor the, Inqui the inquisitor i don't know if he's the grand, is grand, he grand inquisitor sorry okay, uh, grand inquisitor. Edgerton, uh, edgerton's coming back he's uh playing uh owen lars which he played in the prequels which is very cool uh is that the same uh bonnie pia payaz is she's the same uh baru that was in uh episode uh episode two bonnie, bonnie piesi yeah uh let's see uh, she is okay cool yeah, that's awesome. she is uh yeah and get to you know they get to see the inquisitor uh, the inquisitors uh, on the big screen that's gonna be uh, or on live action i should say uh so that's kind of cool uh yeah that's <laughs> i'm just looking at little luke skywalker me mugging me <laughs> what what uh, Groot, Grant Fre Feely's playing uh, Luke Skywalker. He's looking he's creepy looking kid. <laughs> is, he, is he a creepy looking kid? <laughs> he's just, uh, the picture on IMDb is just fucking. Uh, let me look at this. What is his name? Grant Feely? Yeah, he just looks like a fucking. Like every kid in a fucking horror movie. <laughs> like this evil little kid. That's... <laughs> oh, dude. He looks like. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Hello, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> no, guess why? Guess why? It was a creep show. Oh, which, which it one? It was a uh, timeout. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I think that's is that season two. Yeah, I think that's season two. I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, oh, okay. I oh, got, yeah. Two, I gotta watch. I'm gonna watch that. Oh, it was a creep show. That's awesome. He's creepy looking, right? He's got like those he's weird eyes. He got those big fucking. He sees dead people eyes. Creepy. Creepy uh, fucker. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun show, man. I can't. Wait. I, I'm definitely on high on my list of. Uh, I think that was up there with my my most anticipated of the year. Uh, Obi Wan, I believe, was probably a TV show. I think that was up there for me. Uh, a TV so, show, yeah, that probably is number one. Yeah, so I'm I'm, I'm juiced for that. Yeah, that I think She Hulk were my two like most anticipated. So I'm juiced. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm yeah. This is some fucking cool shit coming out, man. We got some good content. Look at well, at least good looking content. It's gonna be um, a good. Oh, right, it's gonna be. A, I feel like it's going to be a great year. It's going to be a great year. So far, it's uh, you know, it's it's it's, it's uh, so, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. It's been a lot of up and ups and downs, but I, I think it's trending. It's trending up. It's it's good. It's good. It's, it's good, good, Mitch. It's good. It's good. It's, 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 it's tasty, it's Mitch. Mitchy. Mitchy. All right. Uh, so please like and subscribe. Follow the channel uh, every uh, usually Tuesdays, but Wednesdays have been we've been going back and forth on like Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Next week I got to talk about uh, what day uh, I, I am working. Wait, no, no. yeah, I think or Wednesday. Uh, we'll, we'll have a show next Wednesday. I think April we got to talk about. It. There's some fucking Tuesday to go with. Uh, but yeah, check, uh, follow the social media so you know when we jump on. Uh, we know you know when we are uh, when we go live. Uh, so yeah, go check out some of the past reviews. Go check out the Batman review. Goddamn it, go watch Batman and watch the goddamn uh, Batman review. It was great. Batman. Watch the goddamn Batman. Uh, 
All right, so let's uh, let's jump into the pool list, man. Uh, let's jump into the pool, man. Pool, 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 pool list. Uh, pool list is the stuff you picked up during the week. Uh, you read, listened to, uh, watched. Uh, you know, so something, uh, something, uh, something pissed you off, something that made you happy. Uh, so uh, let's see, Rick. You want to start, or do you want me to start? Uh, I'll start. Let me see. The first thing I have is the cameras off too, just so that much. Yeah, I, I, I know. So okay, I'm make sure. back. Uh, yeah, so the, the first thing I got was uh, the new season of Upload came out. The new season? Season. Oh. New season. The new season, man. No, man. It's not. <laughs> I don't want to raise the Ramon. Hey, man, the, the new, new season, man. The new season <laughs> of Upload came out, man. Uh, yeah, it created by Greg Daniels. I think, is that, he did The Office, right? Uh, yeah, Greg Daniels, yeah. Is Greg Daniels uh, Og Monster? No, no, that's Stephen Merchant. Stephen Merchant. All right, I'm trying to. I was like, Greg Daniels is the one who developed it for the United yeah. States. Yeah, he did, he did a bunch of shows there. Yeah, like fucking Parks and Rec too. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, dude. Show. Upload. Upload is fun. Uh, it's kind of like. You need to check it out. It looks like a, I love the concept. The concept looks great. It, it's it's pretty much kind of like an oasis, but you can see that people are uh, they have to pay for shit. You know, it's like an it's like an app, but you get uploaded and uh, yeah, you get uploaded into the afterlife, uh, and then yeah, they had a Black Mirror episode like that too. Yeah, I, I yeah, exactly. So it, it's it's the it's one of those things that they're coming out right now. The that concept of you know technology and afterlife and shit like that. So I I found it to be uh, it's it, it's fun, you know, a little little rom com ish. But some of the people in that shit are fucking hilarious, dude. Uh, what's it, what's his name? Uh, the actor, uh, Robbie Amell. He was from. Uh, not, uh, it was Firestorm. That's Stephen Amell's brother. His brother. Right? Yeah, his younger brother. He's funny as shit in this, dude. Uh, then he has a character. He has a uh, a dude named Luke. Oh god, I got what? I fucking asked for the cast and it didn't give me the cast list. Uh, this is bullshit. So yeah, I'm looking for the cast list, but they're not giving me the cast list. Uh, the guy from uh, Part Two, uh, it's in Part Two. He was in uh, he was a pothead from Road Trip. The guy was like, "We can make this uh, jump." Oh, Finch? No, not Finch. No, not Finch. The other, the other guy, the fake Finch. Yeah, yeah. like that I like I like that character a lot. Yeah, he was hella funny, yeah, and he's kind of funny in this. He's probably, he plays... he's probably my favorite character from that movie. I like that yeah. character a lot. Okay, so there's a dude named Kevin Bigley. He plays he plays Luke, dude's best friend. Fucking dude's hilarious. He it, it's and it's kind of creepy because if you're in, they start exploring into this season like uh, because you know laws change, they're able to look at their you know the uploads dreams, and then they started fucking uploading like people's like wet dreams and when dude was dreaming about like his you know customer service person because he actually got to see her and it, it, it she's fucking like everybody's like looking at her she's walking down the street so yeah it's, it's funny as shit it's but it, it it takes into technology how much sometimes we rely on technology and shit yeah yeah, yeah. I, want, I want to check it out it looks good it looks like a, uh, yeah it definitely looks like a cool concept but like yeah so. uh let me see uh, other thing too was I picked up uh, man, I picked up Elden Ring, and oh, I, I, talking about this fucking exactly. I, everybody usually I play with a couple of friends from work uh, on a Monday night where we just play Borderlands, but you know, dude fell asleep from being tired from work, so uh, I ended up playing with some other friends, and these fuckers sold me on it, man. <laughs> they fucking sold me on it. I, I I've been watching uh, Adam Cole actually play this. He has a yeah. He has a he has a play. He has a channel called The Chugs, uh, and he just streams games that he plays. And you know, he's actually a pretty good gamer. And uh, he has like a little sixteen bit like instead of Sonic, it's fucking a little bit of it's a little Adam Cole. So instead of you know Sonic, you know when he does the thumbs up. He does the fucking Adam Cole baby. It's fucking mm-hmm. hilarious. So uh, that was cool to see. So yeah, I mean, I'm playing Elden Ring right now. It's uh, it's a dope game. It's 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 hard. Uh, well, what kind of what kind of style of game is it? Uh, it's an open world. From what people told me, I've never got to play Dark Souls. I'm more or I. It's also like Bloodborne. So it's really 
it's a really upscale difficulty. It's it's kind of like an open world Zelda, but more dragons and the world is yeah. There's no real towns or anything from what I'm seeing right now. There's castles and shit, and everything's hella separate, and it's it's fucked up. It's a fucked up place to fucking walk around, and a lot of shit's trying to kill you. Uh, so yeah, plants are weird, uh, but it's it's a fun game. It's 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 hard though. It is hard. It's, it, I'm trying to get used to the combat, trying to get used to a new controller set after playing, like, The Witcher. I hate fucking the games just... They decide to use their own control settings. Like, yeah, it's after, universal of fucking controls for everybody. I learn a whole new set of controls, man. Same joke. Like, the, the, like, certain, like, the action buttons should be the same on every game. Like, you can do, like, variations on the other buttons, but, like, there should be a jump button. There should be a crowd. Like, everything should be, like, the same crouch and aim. Shoot name should be the same, like, on all games. They just need to get together and do the same. Just like uh, my, my stance on ATMs, uh, ATMs and uh, fucking... Uh, they should, they should all be kind of standard. Standard. Everyone does the same. Oh, oh, you need a slide. Oh, you guys insert the chip. Oh, you need to put, like... One fucking standard thing. Like every fucking time you go, it's a different fucking. Uh, it's hard to get off the ramp. But, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's it's but that's the whole thing. It's just oh god, just so it's it's so much. So yeah, the leveling system is 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 sick. I'm I'm going to try to create a mage in it, a wizard. Usually, I always go for you know just beating the shit like a warrior, mass mass attack as much as possible. But I'm gonna. I, I've been told that in these games. Especially this, it's more like a Warcraft. Warcraft, some of the strongest characters are happen to be mages. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that. Uh, yeah, I think I had some other stuff, but I think I'm gonna hold off for now. <laughs> for now, yeah. uh, I checked out. Um, I watched the fucking uh, the Adam Project today. Fuck oh, okay. man, man, I was, I was surprised how good this movie was man it's a uh, you know directed by sean levy who's uh directing uh deadpool 3 uh just that got announced this week uh you know ryan reynolds jennifer garner zoe Z- uh, Z- zodana mark ruffalo katherine keener great cast uh the kid uh, so basically the plot is uh, uh ryan reynolds uh kind of goes back into the past to uh, you know uh, i don't want to give away too much of the plot but he basically goes to the past and meets his younger self and they kind of have an adventure uh it's very heartwarming like i i found myself kind of almost tearing up a couple of times like some, uh some of the moments and it was a very heartfelt uh good action a fun story a fun time travel story that you don't you have uh kind of a good little twist on the, of the time travel story some time travel tropes also but uh I'm very I'm very surprised how, how much i enjoyed this movie man uh, I think it's uh, definitely worth checking out, and has a very old school kind of vibe to it. It feels like a very old school kind of movie to it. And I, Ryan Reynolds was funny, but he wasn't like doing his like overly, you know, Ryan Reynolds thing of being Ryan Reynolds. So uh, he was kind of kind of tell, he was still funny, but kind of toned down a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, the kid that played his younger self was really good too. He had he had that you know it, it seemed like he could be. His, a younger Ryan Reynolds with the way he talked, the way he uh, kind of acted. And oh, character. really? So he did take a, like tips on the mannerisms and shit. That's sick yeah. when a young actor can do that. Like his humor, he got like kind of like he's very you know got some of the Ryan Reynolds kind of humor in him. So it was, it was. I think you would. I think you're gonna like this movie, Rick. I think uh, you definitely need to check it out. Uh, yeah, Mark, yeah, Mark Ruffalo is really good in it. Um, I won't spoil who he plays. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's a very heartfelt movie. It's a fun movie. Uh, it's, an, it's on Netflix, so you can go watch it now. It's not, you know, if you don't have to uh, go out to the theater. Actually, it would have been fun to see this in the theater. I think this would have been a good movie uh, to watch. <clears throat> uh, but, yeah, it's a fun movie. It, it feels like a throwback. Um, uh, I don't want to say too much about the plot. Uh, it's time travel. It's Ryan Reynolds, what is the younger self. It's pretty fun. Uh, recommend it, for sure. Um, let's see what else this week. Uh, let me talk about that. Um, Let's see. Uh, oh, I picked up. Uh, I don't know if I talked about this last week, but I picked up uh, the Greece, the Greece Latin, uh, uh, from a, a toy con in Vegas. Uh, so this is. Uh, I, I love uh, movie cars, uh, Hot Wheel movie cars. So I have a bunch of them. So this is newest to the collection. Uh, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Yeah. So this is, uh, of course, uh, when they're rebuilding a uh, 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 beat up fucking uh, forty eight Ford. Uh, this is uh, the famous, uh, you know. The Grease Latin. Grease Latin. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to unbox. We're going to do an unboxing. Uh, 
yeah, it's an awesome, uh, yeah, awesome car, a very memorable fucking car. It's a, that's a cool one right there, too. Yeah, that's systematic, hydromatic, <laughs> that's pre Yeah, cool. That's pre Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's a cool classic car. So I'm glad I picked that up. Uh, let's see. I uh, picked up Radio Land Murders. I've been looking for this ever since I watched Dream uh, or Dream. I was looking for it in stores. I was trying to find it like at used uh, DVD stores, couldn't find. It. So I bit the bullet and just went to Amazon and found it. Uh, I haven't watched it since I was super young, so I, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. This is, a, of course, a Lucasfilm movie. This is a based off a story of uh, uh, from George Lucas. Uh, so I, I, I just love Brian Ben Ben. I think he's great. So I, I can't remember if I like this movie or not when seen as a kid. Uh, it, it does have a bad reputation, kind of a bad rap, but like, it, like people say that about Hudson Hawk, and I love that fucking movie. So, uh, you know, is this a Hudson Hawk or is this some other crap? So uh, I'm going to be watching that this week, this weekend at some point. So very excited about that. Uh, the other? I finished uh, Vox Machina from uh, Rick's recommendation. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I enjoyed it. It was a fun show. Uh, definitely can't wait for a second season. Uh, that's on uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, uh, yeah, go check it out. It's a basically D and D. Like you know, a lot of people had their D and D game and made it into a movie, pretty much. Uh, yeah, but it's like the Adult Swim D and D kind of. It's like all your adult friends fucking like cursing at each other and you know, dirty jokes and weird, you know, <laughs> bloody and it's it's a fun show for sure. Even if you're not into D and D and all that shit, uh, you'll you'll probably have a good time with it. So I, I would say check, uh, go check that out and get uh, uh, get a chance. Fun animation. Uh, yeah, I like the animation in that. Yeah, good. It's like yeah, it's you know, it's flash animation, but it's still it's still good. Uh, let's see. Uh, two days after Kenobi premiere, premieres, uh, Stranger Things season four, part one starts. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. May, well, May, May. I, I have Stranger Things to fucking binge then. Uh, why is it? Why are they splitting up part uh, season four? Just release really season four. I don't need to see part one, part two. Like, just fuck, I hate when they do that kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, it's, it's the anticipation because it's almost gonna be over. I'm yeah. fine. So, but they're gonna milk. They're gonna like try to stretch it out, like fucking milk it. So. Oh and, yeah, fucking. It's uh, gonna be fucking forty years old, man. You better fucking hurry up with this shit, man. <laughs> it's fucking. They better not be playing fucking teenagers in their. I, it would what would be good is if they were to jump uh, after this year, jump into the future. Yeah, well, they kind of have to do that anyways because uh, they had a whole production mid-production because of COVID. Yeah, because they're they're so, going to be into their twenties almost. Yeah, so they're, they're yeah they're getting older. I think they're like in their eighteen. I think a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they they need to start. Yeah, get, get it done. They're gonna get their fucking retirement plan. Uh, all right. I think that's it for me on my. Um, the coolest. Uh, let's go jump into our hidden gem. Uh, hidden gem are just something uh, show, show and tell. You know, so you guys to go to school and you used to show off your toys or what have you, your new stuff. Where's my hidden gem? Did I delete those by accident? I can't find the unsolicited Rick picks in the fucking. Uh, oh, I'll uh, do that. <laughs> All right. Well, what's your uh, what's your hidden gem this week, Rick? Got a hidden gem? It's an, it's an unsolicited. Rick. God damn it! Oh man, I'm a bum. Oh, there you go. Just do, do both like that. I don't and then, remember, yeah. remember deleting it. Maybe I deleted it by accident. God damn it. All right, go ahead, Rick. What you got? What's your, what's your, what's your <laughs> well, we were just talking about. I, I love when we talk about things, and I'm just like, yeah, people should fucking watch that movie. I was gonna go with, uh, uh, you know, I love you to death, but then I started thinking about Kevin Klein. People need to watch that movie, Dave. Yeah. Uh, where you know he's just a regular dude who looks like the president, and the president's going through some shit where it, through his health, and he in, enters a coma, and they hire Dave to pretty much uh, go on and you know be proxy to what how other people want to run the country. It's their agenda, but Dave, because he's like, well, what's the worst thing you guys are gonna do? Try you know you're gonna try to fuck with me, and he starts throwing his own ideas in there, and you know. Uh, it, it, it's good. Uh, Frank Langella's in that. Uh, you know, Kevin Klein. So good supporting <laughs> yeah, that one. That that's a great thing. I once caught a fish. This big. He's using like uh, like a forklift. Uh, I think one of Ding Rain's early flicks. Uh, yeah. yeah, I love the whole turtleneck line where fucking Ving Rain's asks him. He goes, "You you think I look good in the turtleneck?" He goes, "Oh yeah, I think you look great. You don't think it made my neck look too fat?" And he goes, "No, 
no, it'll kind of, and they just talk about it. He goes, all right. And there's uh, something in the, in the movie where he asks him early, he goes, would you take a bullet for me? And like, he just looks at him and he just walks away. But later on, after he sees how Dave is, you know, he kind of leans over and he fucking says, remember? And he goes, yeah, I take a bullet for you after, after something. And then Dave just looked at him like, it's just a good hearted movie. I can't remember who, who, like, I, I don't know why I didn't have this one ready. This is why I love sometimes is, uh, I, th- I do, was that a Rob Reiner movie or? It might be. It's uh, somebody like famous. I, I remember, let me see, Dave Full Cast. Oh, see, why, why is Dave a TV show? No, Dave Movie Fool. Dave's not here, man. It's. Hey, Dave's not here, bro. Dave, Dave movie cast. There we go. Let's see who who did this one. Uh, yeah, there's some Ivan Reitman. Ivan Reitman. Okay, yeah, I knew Ivan it. Reitman. Somebody of that caliber. Yeah, uh, man. Kevin Dunn's in that movie. Everybody knows him as a uh, you know Mr. Wiki from the Transformers movies. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's it's, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good cast. You got Charles Grodin in it. You know, a lot of people. Damn, yeah, a lot of people. Everybody from that fucking movie is fucking past, man. Kevin Klein, by real fucking watch out. Ben, ben Kingsley, he's still alive. Sigourney Weaver, right? Was in that too, right? Sigourney Weaver, yeah. Played the Sigourney, wife. And it turns Oliver Stone was in that movie. Well, you know, he's in a he's in a piece where he just comes in and he's talking. I think he's talking to Larry King on TV. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's it's like a good comedy, uh, political comedy. If you want to watch political comedies, Davis is a good one and. Distinguished gentleman's another. Uh, yeah, what's a what's yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, uh, Dave is a great movie from Lori. Uh, I think my favorite Kevin Klein character is Otto from A Fish Called Wanda. Oh, uh, that's a good movie too. I like fucking Kevin Klein in uh, Soap Dish. He's mm-hmm. fucking hilarious in Soap Dish. Yeah, I bring that. Yeah. No. Right, Kevin Klein, better watch out. I'll, I'll be seeing. Right? I'll be seeing. Think- Phoebe Cates, if that's the case. If we if we if we end up talking about these people and then they start passing, dude, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up about. What we're talking about. <laughs> uh, local podcast in San Francisco kills Kevin Klein with their talk of him. It's like uh, the Deadpool. It's like the Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so my uh, in gem. Uh, what did I fucking put? Uh, uh, here, I just built the. I uh, put these. I uh, bought these little shells on Amazon. Uh, uh, on Amazon uh, for like seven bucks, and uh, put up some VHS tapes I had, and uh, yeah, you just kind of put in, uh, make my own little uh, raised video store. Uh, so, yeah, had a couple of tapes. I was like, I got open mind uh, uh, displaying these, so I made some room and uh, got these little cheap cells from uh, Amazon. Put them up super easy, and now I got my own little video store. Uh, Rick uh, ruined my day by not liking it, but I don't care about his opinion. Uh, but uh, <laughs> some of my favorite, uh, some of my favorite tapes. I remember seeing that Mothra in uh, in Blockbuster and seeing that tape, uh, that Batman cover, that Batman. Uh, that I love that logo. Just see, remember, it just brings me back to when I first started collecting comics and kind of that summer where Batman, that logo was everywhere. You saw it at bus stops. You saw it, in, you know, uh, that logo on merchandise and shit. So that brings me back. And so yeah, just I just I'm, it's cool. I get to it's easy to like pull them out and rotate them. So I might rotate them and put some other ones up there. Whatever my, my whatever my mood changes, whatever. But uh, you know, just have some of my favorite, <coughs> favorite tapes up there. Just uh, so just uh, and just uh, seven dollar uh, cheap little seven dollar uh, shelves from Amazon, easily put up. Uh, so yeah, just, uh, that's my hidden gem. That's it. Well, no video store. What videos would you put up, Rick? Uh, I would have. It has to be you know my kind of my my movies. It'd probably be Goonies. Yeah, I've been looking at Goonies. I've been trying to find a good Goonies one. I've been Last, trying to find Monster Squad. I've been trying to find Monster Squad. Yeah. Last oh, Dragon. Yeah. Last Dragon. Oh, okay. uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's a cool one. Yeah. Uh, just because it it was the era for me, dude. I remember watching that shit in the theater. New Jack City. Mm. Fucking Lost love Boys, New Jack. Lost Boys would be one. I'm looking Lost at. Boys would be probably Lost Boys would be the last one. Yeah, Lost Boys. I'd say would probably be the last one because that's that era. Yeah. That's all, it, the only one that's kind of funny. Well, maybe I might take on New Jack City, Friday the 13th. Yeah, I, I bet you looking part for one. I want to try to find a good part four. Uh, yeah, it's, some of these are hard to find. Uh, VHS is pretty popular right now. 
Uh, it, it's, I wish I could have held on to all my yeah, shit. I, I wish I kept uh, some of my like some of. I, I have a couple down in my storage, so I have to dig them out. Like I've, I've seen a couple of uh, like some of my Godzilla movies and uh, some other ones. So I'm, the Transformers uh, one is very important to me too because I wanted that one so bad as a kid, and I, I like I tried to pre-order it a bunch of times from the like video store, and just I, I always wanted that tape so bad. So I finally got it. So that's definitely uh, one of those uh, one of my favorites. So. Uh, yeah, and Empire Strikes Back is one of my favorite movies of all time, so I had to get the tape. And I love that poster, that poster, that Drew, that Drew Struzan cover. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I definitely want to get some more, kind of rotate them in and out whenever I feel like, you know, change uh, change them out. So, uh, yeah, so I'll be on the hunt for some cool VHSs. Uh, and, yeah, so, yeah, that's my hand job. Nice. Nice. Raise, I want to get, like, a little uh, thing that says raised video. I'm just on there. <laughs> get a little, like, little plaque, put it under. A little uh, fucking... Uh, uh, what what is what is it, a little neon? <laughs> Gloria, so, so, uh, soap dish is a top favorite. Soap dish is fucking hilarious, dude. Sally Fields, Elizabeth Shoe. <laughs> shoe. Who uses a shoe? Uh, how, how much for a two day rental, Ray? Uh, you can't afford my prices. Uh, <laughs> he, he's like two day rental. How about your yeah. life? I want to get. Uh, I want to get uh, that. VHS uh, transfer thing to um, to a computer. And that, I, I, kind of, I want to watch like Batman eighty nine on like from the VHS because they had like cool like the little animated Bat, uh, Bugs Bunny opening and shit like uh, that and like come uh, I forgot what else they had on there. But I just remember watching the trailer. I remember those trailers so vividly from those some of those tapes, man. Just wow. yeah, the only thing that's about VHS. You say it like that. If Mission Impossible, the movie that I used to watch all the time, Mission Impossible would, would be up there. I love that movie. And I love the cover. Yeah, the cover's really good. Yeah, like a spy, like his face and the yeah, the spy. The, the palm, yeah, the the Palma yeah, one. That movie. Cool. Emma, that movie's awesome, man. Definitely that sick. Yeah, that's a great movie. Um. Uh, all right. Uh, that's this. I think that was a show. This was a Frank special, man. In and out, baby. Uh, yeah, Frank special. Frank special. Well, he's got. I still have mo- all all of my VHS tapes. Yeah, see. Yeah, it's cool about like, I got to a, a space thing too, where I had a bunch of them, and I was like, I gotta get, gotta get rid of shit. So I wish, I, I do wish I kept a couple of them. I should have kept a couple of them. Some good ones. I had a shitload. Of, like I, you see all the movies I have now. I had a shitload of VHS tapes, man. I, had a shit, I love, yeah, I love movies. So I love, I love movies. movies. I love having movies at my disposal. I, uh, you know, I remember going to Suncoast and buying the widescreen versions of that. As soon as I found out shit was cut out of movies and the pan scan shit, and yeah, I was like, I need widescreen. I want to. I don't like shit being cut. So I'm glad technology kind of merged and now, now TVs are widescreen and they're that the four six th- uh, ratio fucking shit. So that's good. I'm glad I'm glad you trended that that way for sure in movies. Um, Backdraft that'd be on that fucking shelf. I'd be have to add to be ten movies now. Shelves, man. Put up, put, 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 get, get your uh, go get your little VHS. Get, get Rick's video up there. Get a little spot. <laughs> Rick Buster video. <laughs> um, it used to be like that. Uh, Lori, uh, good show, gents. Always fun. Yeah, uh, thanks for everybody that watched and listened. And uh, if you're watching the replay, like the press the like button. It helps with the algorithm, all that good shit. Uh, and anything you want to say before we get the hell out of here? I like how fucking Razor Ramon's crotch is just right under just watching it. <laughs> do, do, sh, do, do. Uh, no. Nothing to say. <laughs> we're, 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 we're coming back. To, I, I, I was angry the whole the show called me down. Yeah. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in my calm now. A little therapy session for you. <laughs> yeah. Go do a show, Rick. Calm down. Yeah, go do a show. You used to be able to show me, like, you know, cat gifts, you know, hey. Yeah, yeah, like, hey. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a calming. Yeah. If, there, if there's any uh, hostage situation with Rick, I'll, I'll bring that video in to calm me down. Just give me the loudspeaker. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What are you he's doing? Out. He's coming out. He's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> that was that, that, that video really works. <laughs> I get it. You see a cat just like, hey. yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, another fun one, Rick. Um, we'll uh, we'll see you guys next week. I think we'll. No, oh, we'll, we'll we'll see what's up. Uh, I think regular Tuesday next week. So cool, regular Tuesday show next week. So awesome. Uh, all right, so uh, we'll get out of here. Get out of your hair, and uh, we'll see you guys next next time. Uh, next uh, same bat channel, same bat time, or different bat time. Uh, same bat channel though. Yeah.
Go watch that fucking review of Batman, fuckers. Uh, I'm very, I, I, I thought that was going to get a lot more views. I just, I just, I'm, just, I'm upset with all of you. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> all of them. I'm alienating all the viewers. Um, all right, we're going to get out of here. Everybody have a good, safe week. Uh, and we'll see you guys next time. And, uh, yeah, go watch movies. Go watch movies. Go watch, go watch, a, go watch a movie. Go watch Adam Project. Watch Adam Project. That's a fucking great movie. Uh, very, 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 very